Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Our Desert Have a Garden. Today I want to show you some garden pest issues. Now this is our kohlrabi and you can see that it's starting to form the bulbs around the vase. But you can also see that we have an issue with something eating it. So this um, type of damage to the leaves is typically caterpillars. And actually this morning we came out here and I confirmed that it was caterpillars that have been eating it and they're actually inchworms. So we peeled off a bunch this morning. So let's look in here. And they're quite small, but they can do quite a bit of damage. So we manually pulled off all the caterpillars that we could find. And then now we're going to treat the plants. Um, we want to make sure that these plants still have an opportunity to grow to their full potential and if they're being destroyed by inchworms that's not going to happen. So what I like to use other than manual removal is BT. So this is considered an organic, um, I don't want to say chemical, but an organic compound that is used to kill caterpillars. So what it does is it um, affects their digestive system so basically they can't eat anymore and it causes them to die so according to the bottle instructions i have mixed up a bottle um, it's one quarter tablespoon for this 32 ounces of water um, so it's a tablespoon for a gallon if you're mixing up a bunch and so what i'll do is i'll spray all these plants but the caterpillars live on the underside so you've got to really try and get the underside of the leaves and so I won't bore you with showing you how I do that. I'm actually going to use both hands to make sure I get under each and every leaf. Um, and then the inchworms that we have over here um, will definitely not be released. I I so I will cut back to you in just a moment. Okay, I got the kohlrabi all coated nice and evenly with the BT. So hopefully we'll notice the damage um, decreasing on those plants and while I was spraying I did actually find about three more inchworms that I squished um, with my fingers so you always want to remove anything that you find manually now this is amaranth and it's actually a volunteer from last year seeds dropping but I decided to keep it because I really enjoy having amaranth but you can see here that these leaves are becoming damaged and while I haven't found any caterpillars on here um, I did see um, what looks like caterpillar droppings. You see those little black round dots? Um, that's caterpillar poop. And that to me looks more like, like a tomato worm, um, a horned tomato worm caterpillar droppings. But I haven't seen um, the caterpillars. But the BT works the same for this as well. And because it is safe for humans to consume, we can go ahead and spray it. And amaranth, you can eat the young leaves as well as um, the seeds are used similar to a grain. And I do have one more little amaranth right here that I'll also spray just to make sure we don't have any issues. And you always want to make sure and get the underside because that's where the caterpillars really like to hang out. So that problem is taken care of. Next, when we come over here to the squash plants, I noticed today that we had a lot of ants crawling around. And ants like these plants um, for their sap. They actually do quite a bit of damage. I don't know if I can see any right now. The sun just um, went behind the house, so it's not as bright out here, so the ants may be done for the day. But I had ants crawling all over this plant, and I've actually had issues with them affecting pollination as a result of it. And so to deter the ants, I simply use a cheap store-bought cinnamon powder, just regular ground cinnamon right here. And I sprinkle it all over the place. You can't hurt anything with cinnamon, but it's also cheap. And then of course, if you have any high winds or if you have, um, if you have rain, you'll need to reapply it frequently. And back to the BT, actually, you can apply that every five to seven days just to make sure that you don't get any more issues with the caterpillars. 
So I just sprinkle cinnamon around here to deter these little ants from ruining my squash plants and harvest. Um, especially when the plant puts on fruit, it, um, it can really affect the fruits. The ants, I don't know if they actually eat the fruits themselves or if they um, are just eating the sap of the plants or what they do, but whatever it is, it is quite damaging. So I go around and I do that. Oh, I think I see some crawling around on this squash plant. I don't know if you can see them, they're quite small, but they're like little black ants. And I typically like ants and I don't have an issue with them because they serve a good purpose, but at the same time they can be damaging to the garden. So I'm not going to allow them to persist. And so I'll just keep the garden covered with cinnamon to make sure that we protect our plants. And then I will reapply the BT as necessary to make sure we don't have any inchworms or caterpillars. Um, I haven't noticed anything on the tomato plants yet, which is good. So I might give those a spray just as a preventative measure. And that's all we have going on right now as far as garden pests. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, have a great day.